up in beautiful Door County, Wisconsin. We're here today to show you our fresh 2011 Kroenke 56 ST trade-in. We just got the boat yesterday. We're still cleaning things up, but we want to show you some of the features of this great boat. The Kroenke 56 has a really nice, large, tender garage. So one of the issues with larger express yachts that have large garages and large tenders is that when you want to gain access to the engines, you have to remove the tender from the garage in order to get access to the hatch in the floor. Kroenke solved that problem by making their tender garage floor hydraulic. It's really easy. You just push a button, the entire floor comes up, and it will lift the tender along with it so you don't have to remove it for service. So if you back into your dock slip, you don't have to move the boat, take the tender out to take a look at your engines. So Kroenke uses all stainless steel hydraulic rams on their hydraulic system. The hydraulic rams for the garage hatch and the hydraulic rams down here for the engine hatch are all stainless steel, as well as the hydraulic mechanism for the swim platform. You can't see it right now underwater, but it's all stainless steel. All the system is integrated into one central pump. So once you've opened the engine hatch, you have great access to all the systems on board the boat. You have the port and starboard, Volvo Penta IPS 900s, centerline mounted Fisher Panda 18KW generator, port and starboard stainless steel fuel tanks. You also have a chilled water loop uh, cooling system by Kandaria that also has a diesel heater boiler. So when it's cold out on the Great Lakes and the water temperature gets down to the point where the reverse cycle system won't work, the diesel heater will kick in heat the boiler, heat the water, and it warms up the entire boat to any temperature you desire. So one of the issues on all open boats is what do you do with the canvas when you take it off? So Kroenke solved that problem by making this storage area here in the cockpit. So it's very simple. You take the aft curtain off, Fold it up, put it here in the storage locker, along with all the other things that you use on a daily basis. Kroenke 56 has a fantastic layout for an open boat. Without the back doors, it gives you a contiguous layout to entertain a lot of people. It has a sunroof that opens up. It's a soft top, but it opens up almost completely so that you have the best of both worlds with all of the outside air that you want and the enclosed interior when it's cold and nasty outside. This Kroenke 56 has uh, four TVs, a 36 inch or 42 inch actually down here in the main salon, and one in each cabin, and then also the one here up in the cockpit. It has satellite television by Italian up on the arch. This TV, when it comes up, when it gets all the way to the top, pivots so that you can entertain people in any, any position in the cockpit. Also up here in the cockpit you have a full service wet bar with a refrigerator, an isotherm, which is full of something, and a wet ice maker. So this boat had the stereo system upgraded recently. This is a Fusion 700 unit. It controls the sound system for the cock cockpit. It's connected to the television. It also has a remote control up on the bow for the sun pad area on the bow. has an amplifier with a subwoofer and several speakers including the torpedo speakers that are mounted up on the bow rail for the foredeck. So here at the main nav station on board the boat we have two helm seats. The main helm seat is electric, goes up and down and fore and aft so you can place yourself in the perfect position at any speed, at any angle, in any condition. We have twin Raymarine E120 displays here. The second display was optional. 
along with the twin Volvo Penta digital engine displays, Raymarine autopilot control, Humphrey trim blade system, Low Franz anchor windlass control with chain counter, FLIR night vision, and our stereo remote for the Fusion 700. So the Volvo IPS 900s are very reliable and very easy to use engine package. Um, the engines are very easily started. You have the main helm control unit right here, and then you have the joystick control right here. To engage the joystick, you just push one button, and then you can drive the boat around the dock and leaving the dock with the joystick. And when you want to disengage the joystick, you just put the control in gear, it comes out of gear. One of the great things about the Kronke 56 is that it's an incredibly quiet boat. All the floors down below, the cup cabin soles, are uh, cored with cork, about an inch thick, so there's very little hull noise that comes through the bottom of the boat. The engine room insulation in the engine room is phenomenal, so it's a very, very quiet and fast boat. This boat liked to drive the boat standing up with his head looking over the top. So we made for him a custom riser to stand on for his feet.